In this tutorial I will show you how to crochet the cupcake stitch. The crochet needle I'm using is a 3.5 and in US terms this is a e-hook. So I'm very curious what you are going to use it for. Please let me know in the comments. So we start with a slip knot and then we chain an amount which is a multiple of 6 plus 3. For example 9 or 15, 21, 27. For this example, I will make 15 chains. I chained 15. And now I make one more turning chain, which doesn't count. And now I start making one single crochet in every stitch. And this is number 15. And now we are going to use the color that we want to use for the cupcake holder. And we just attach the color like this. And then we chain 4. This will be the first double crochet stitch plus 1 chain. You can also make one normal double crochet and then a chain 1. We turn our work. And then we skip the next 2 stitches. So 1, 2. And then we make two double crochet stitches in the next stitch. So two in one. And then we make one double crochet stitch in the next one. And then again two double crochet stitches in the next one. Then we chain one. And we skip three stitches, so one, two, three. And then again, we make two double crochet stitches. One double crochet stitch. And two double crochet stitches in the next. And then when you are at the end of the row, you chain one and you skip two stitches and then you make one double crochet in the last stitch. Now we are going to change to pink and we change the color like this. You can also use your own technique, but this one is very easy. And then you chain one, you turn your work. And then you make a single crochet in every stitch in the front loops only. And when you are at the gap, you make one single crochet around the gap like this. And then again in the front loop only. So you can see two loops here and you only use the one that's facing you. That's the front loop. And then again, one around the cap. And one in the last one. Now we will change to white and we will make one double crochet followed by three chains. But you can also make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we will skip the next stitch, which is the single crochet around the gap. So that's this one. And then in the next five stitches, we will make a cluster with double crochet stitches. You start like a normal double crochet, but you don't finish it. And then you go to the next one, like a normal double crochet, but just don't finish it. And you do it for all the five stitches. So at the end you will have 6 loops on your hook. Then you yarn over and pull through all loops together. And then you chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
and you repeat this. So you skip the stitch that's made around the gap and then you make a cluster in the next 5 stitches. When you are at the end of the row, you chain 3 and you make a double crochet in the last stitch. So now we will change back to our starting color. We chain 1, we turn our work and now we will make 5 single crochet stitches around the bows of the previous rows. So around this one, this one, this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we move to the next bow. Five. We should have the same amount of stitches as where we started. So I started with 15 stitches and again I have 15 stitches now. So make a double crochet or chain three as turning change. Turn your work. And for the last row, we will make one double crochet stitch in every stitch. If you like, you can add a bead over here so it looks like a cherry. I've seen some examples that are very cute. Please subscribe to my channel. So you will get notified when I upload a new tutorial or pattern. And I hope to see you in my next video.